for the sign of Aries hello and welcome to my channel let's see what's going on now the Queen of Pentacles is a card that indicates that you could be spending time money and energy on your home getting it to be more comfortable now this is actually a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt people could be looking to you for insight or advice you you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so this is a time period when um, you can get a lot accomplished now it's with the page of wands page of wands people they they can be warm they can be ambitious they can be high achievers now if this is not an actual person in your life the page of wands it can indicate the energy of easy distraction so it's important to try to stay focused this card it indicates that things that you started some time ago they could start to come to life you could feel like they're starting to come to fruition it can also show a need for new things new adventures new approaches new ideas the page brings a positive energy but because of the energy of easy distraction and needing to try to stay focused you're gonna have to supply the follow through so Pisces recent not Pisces I just finished Pisces sorry Aries this is Aries reading Queen of Pentacles clarified by this page of wands for the recent past energy between you and your person so this, this is telling me that yeah you you with someone who was always excited to um, be with you um, this this could have been the type of person that uh, was always reaching out with messages of love that's what the page of wands does um, now you could have you could feel like this person or you felt like they were on the immature side because when you hear the word page in the tarot that can indicate a student you can indicate youth you can indicate immaturity so you could have felt um, that this was your person they had these qualities and um, they had a lot of passion for you because page of wands can be about passion but you you felt like you were ready to fall back from this person or maybe fall back for a while yeah because they had certain qualities about them that was on the on the immature side they could have been younger than you maybe younger by a few days a few months a few years and for some of you yeah maybe you're in a few decades or decades I don't know but it's about immaturity and you just wanted to fall back from this person yeah falling back could have been for a while or just fall back completely because the Queen of Pentacles she falls back she just takes comfort in the ordinary things Queen of Pentacles the card above the word pass you see she's sitting in her backyard in a lounge chair she's with the with her dog he's keeping her toes warm he's sleeping on her feet and she's feeding the squirrels and the birds that come by so she's just taking comfort in just the ordinary things not dealing with any silliness so so that's the recent past energy between you and your person let's see what's coming up for the two of you we got the hermit and the ten of Pentacles now the hermit yeah this hermit can be about spending time alone yeah and it's with the ten of Pentacles okay so Aries the 
the hermit can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card in the tarot. You could feel like you're in a frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This can also be a card about trying really hard to do the right thing, but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Oh, Aries, I know what I was trying to, I know what I was thinking. I was trying to say, I forgot to tell you that some people say they're having a hard time hearing me and others say they can hear me just fine. And when I play back the video and watch it, I can hear me just fine. But anyways, if you have some earbuds or some headphones, please plug them in um, so that you can hear me better. I don't know why some people say they, I can, they say they can hear me and then others say they can't hear me. So yeah, I'm working on some changes. I'm revamping this whole thing because this, this type of spread I've been doing for a while. So changes are in the making for improvements and something new. So yeah, for now, if you got some headphones or ear earbuds, um, please use them. Yeah. So I'm working on changes. It's coming. So, um, we talked about the hermit. Now it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles says that you've got a great deal to be thankful for your relationships, of all kind, finance, health, all these, all these things should be going well. But you might have to consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we get back what we give out. So, coming up, Aries, Hermit, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, um, yeah, like I said, um, your person, they could see or feel that you're, you're just wanting to be alone. Yeah, with the hermit car here, they see it, they feel it, but they see you as somebody that they, they could want, um, well, this Ten of Pentacles can be about a second chance, it can be about commitment, marriage, engagement. Um, they see you as someone that they could um, have it all with. Yeah, yes they do. But they see that you're you're pulling away, you're falling back, and you're spending time alone. The Hermit card, it can indicate you're trying to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage from this connection. Or you could... You, you're just feeling that, um, um, you're still in the want, wanting to fall back mode. Yeah, and they're feeling that, um, this connection is not a priority for you. They're feeling your, your, your withdrawal. But they still feel like they want, um, either a second chance with you or they could be wanting um, the Ten of Pentacles. They, f they could be feeling like you're someone that they they want the end all be all with or they could have it all with. But they, they feel you just wanting to be to yourself and they're starting to feel like the connection for you is not a priority. You're making them feel like they're not on your priority list. Put it that way. But anyways, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. We got the Page of Swords ends with the Three of Wands. Now, the Page of Swords. It's um, it can stand for an actual person. In this case, it can represent um, someone who's younger than you. Another page here. Like I said, the page indicates a student youth, immaturity. Um, now, 
this page is a message bear. It comes with some type of message. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and because he has a huge sword in his hand, um, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, or pushing too fast, or it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you might have to study their body language and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Now, it's with the Three of Wands. Um, with this card, you could feel like things are going well or much better. Um, you could feel like your ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in. Um, you could be feeling really strong with a good reason. You could start to finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. This three of wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, they're appreciated, and are well respected. Now, the challenge, Aries, page of swords, clarified by the three of swords. So yeah, your person, um, they like I said, they feel your your withdrawal. They feel that they're not on your. They feel that you're you're not putting them on the priority list, um, and they could be ready to pick a fight because the page of swords brings conflict. So yeah, they could be ready to be dramatic. They, the Page of Swords will keep tabs on you, they'll stalk you, they'll watch you, and they'll just step on your toes. They'll pick a fight with you. They'll bring some drama. Yeah, this person, they don't like that you, you're starting to feel like you're, le you're leaving them out. They see you as someone that they, they want it all with, or they could have it all with. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Um, I just want to say this. I just got another download here. You could feel like this person, they're just with you for financial reasons. For some of you, not all of you. Because the Ten of Pentacles, I didn't tell you this, but it can be about a lot of money. For some of you, you could be dealing with someone who you feel like uh, you're not sure if they're just with you for financial gain, financial gain, or just for your money. That was just a little side note. I had to throw that in there because that um, just came to me when I saw the Ten of Pentacles because I forgot to tell you that it can be about a lot of money. Okay, so anyways, uh, Three of Wands, a card that's below the word challenge. Like I said, your person, they're picking up, they're ready to just bring some drama to you because they see you sitting in your backyard you don't fell back from them they're ready to pull you out of your hermit mode and step on your toes because they're mad they're not happy you're withdrawing but it looks like you don't care you got the three of wands here you're going forward three of wands the card below the word challenge it's about looking ahead with the expansion and growth. It's about having made a decision to go forward. So you're getting on board. You feel like your ship has finally arrived. Yeah, you've made a decision about what to do. You're going forward. You're looking ahead with the expansion and growth. And it's not with this person. You feel they're too immature. Yeah, or like I said, for some of you, you feel like this person is with you for the wrong reasons. Yeah, so the outcome, Knight of Swords, ends with the Four of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It can mean something or someone desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're wondering if you're going to hear from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. Knight of Swords, it does point to a lot of activity. It points to travel. It points to being out and about, getting things done and accomplished. So the Knight of Swords doesn't feel like waiting for anything to come to them. The Knight of Swords 
actually goes after their heart's desire. Now, with the Four of Swords, which is a card that signifies a break, uh, could be from normal life. This could mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. It also can mean illness or time in the hospital, but those are just two examples of when you go away and then you come back. Yeah, not saying that someone's going to be ill or going to the hospital. No, those are just examples. Now, this is also a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Maybe you could, maybe you feel like um, others are pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. When you get the Four of Swords, don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you're pushing the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, so the outcome, Aries, Knight of Swords, clarified by the Four of Swords. Yeah, so like I said, um, your person, they, they don't like that you, you, you're not putting them on the priority list anymore. And you're getting on board without them. You're looking forward. You're getting, you, you, like I said, um, um, the Three of Wands, it's about feeling like your ship has finally come in. You're getting on the boat without them. And you're looking for growth and expansion elsewhere. So they come rushing in. Knight of Swords comes rushing in. Cutting out anything. So they could be trying to sweet talk you. Sweep you off your feet. That's what the Knight of Swords does. But they might not be able to find you. Four of Swords. This man, he... Four of Swords, a card below the word outcome. He, he, went, he went up to the top of the mountains. Not everyone likes going up to the mountains. He's at the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs and four swords with him. And he'll pull them out and use them if he has to. Yeah, so your person comes rushing in trying to sweet talk you. you two heads, some type of fight or some type of, um, your person tried to bring drama. Because he saw that you were moving. Yeah, you were getting on your ship without him. So now they can't find you. But, you know, the Four of Swords, like I said, it's a withdrawal. But you do come back. But for right now, you just, you've had enough. Yeah, you just want to break from this person. There's some, there's, there's a, I'm getting there's a lot of immaturity here. Because you got two pages here. Yeah, this person, they, they do want to be with you. Ten of Pentacles is here. I don't know if it's for the right reasons, though. For some of you, it is. And for others of you, maybe not so. So, here they come. They could be reaching out to you again with um, text, phone calls, tr knocking at your door. But they can't find you. You're going somewhere where you can't be found. So, Aries, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. I hope I didn't, didn't repeat myself.